Oh, righty. Welcome back to the channel. So, it is the long awaited, although not that long because I've only had it a week, comparison. Comparison, comparison, comparison. Anyway, these two lenses the F4 70 200 and the broken Tamron. Hey, the crowd goes wild. Um, yes, I'm going to do a comparison on the two. Um, very simple shots. That's all I'm going to do, just to just see if there's much difference. You'd think there would be a huge difference because this one's best part of a thousand pounds and this one I think is about 350, maybe more, uh, new. But obviously both were second hand. Um, so yeah, let's go out onto the, uh, onto the pathways, into the fields and do a comparison. Just grab me stuff. Everyone needs one of these. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go, with a bucket and spade and a hand grenade, hey ho, hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. And right, Lola? Yeah? Don't be she's that impressed. So, oh, that was a big drip on my hand. Anyway, here I am, walking again down the Silken Way, to just a nice little simple spot to go and do the comparison on these two lenses. The pros and cons and the lenses being pros on the 70 to 200 f4 uh, it's bloody fast it's beautiful it's sharp it's good ah, it's bomb proof it's weather sealed it's it's expensive I oh, know that would probably be a con <laughs> but yeah it's bloody smart let's go with the uh, comparison lens even though they're not actually kind of in the same bracket but they're the two telephoto lenses I have and as we know I've been using a broken Tamron for some time so Tamron 70 to 300 broken yeah that's that's uh, what the, what the pros uh, very cheap very very cheap you can pick them up broken for not a lot of money and then just tape up the sensor but we've gone on about that enough because now because I've got two telephoto lenses we can go and compare shots so that is what we're gonna do so join me in a field soon there's a big screw up there join me in a field any minute now and we'll get some shots let's go fear not we will be back in the field uh, I made a schoolboy error <laughs> because I was filming on my phone I filmed the entire next segment of me talking about what I'm gonna do with the, with the camera facing outwards not me because um, I don't selfie it like you know what I mean I don't hold it so it's facing that way I hold it so it's facing so the back's facing me so you've got the better camera because it's a bit crap anyway um, and yeah so I just filmed the whole lot you can just hear me talking <laughs> just walking along so we will carry on with the comparison in just a second um, basically I've spoke about the pros and cons then what I was saying was all shots are going to be handheld I'm going to do the Tamron first then the Canon okay so that's the uh, I'm not going to bother putting the settings on because they were pretty much they had the same shutter for both shots they had the same F number, which was 5.6, across various focal lengths, because this one says it's 5.6, but I'm pretty sure it goes to about 7 when it's, at, when it's at max. But I didn't go to max, I only went to 200 max, so we could actually pair it, or about 200, um, so I could pair up with this one. So I didn't max this one out. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Settings are the same. Take my word for it. Um, yes, I'll run the shots, and then, um, yeah, we'll see how we're done. Could be a sad day. Anyway, back to the field, let's go. It's been seven hours and fifteen days Since you took your love away
I think you have it. Um, night and day, some might say. Tamron's been loyal, like a loyal old dog. And I just think the, the cannon is the way forward. I think it's time. Just let the Tamron go. It's, it's emotional, to be honest. It's been, it's been part of my life now for the last two years. I've had to change the tape on the connectors a few times, but other than that, she's been a good girl. I've got to do it proud. I've got to do it proud. I'll do it. Nothing yes. Oh. But a quick dust won't fix. Maybe some more tape. Oh. Did I get anyone? Did I catch anybody? I wouldn't bury this. Well, I did bury it for a second. I wouldn't bury this bad boy. This, this is going to be framed, well not framed, put in a glass box, lock and key, as if it was like a gun and bullets, you know what I mean? It's going to be stored somewhere, lights on top of it, the broken Tamron in neon lights. You know, we're going to go to town on this bad boy. Or failing that, it will just be used as a paperweight, much like other big lenses I've got. I've got a whopping one here, actually. This bloody great thing here, Schneider Optics. Okay, I know we're off subject now. Look at the bloody size of that, eh? Hey, look at that. Um, weighs an absolute ton, and it is a Schneider Optics Incorporated Century Pro Series HD two times teleconverter for camcorders, predominantly Sony. It's a Sony mount. So if anyone wants one and they want to pay postage, have it. Um, yeah, because I don't use it. It is a glorified paperweight or Batman's pedestal. So, there you go. I didn't really, well, I did bury the Tamron, but I didn't really bury the Tamron. Hope I got you all. It was just a bit of a laugh. Um, the comparison was just pretty straightforward, shot for shot. You know, it was what it was. So, until the next video, hope you enjoyed that one. Catch you later. Peace out.